Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Kemi Badnock, one of the uh, candidates for leadership of the Conservative Party, has said that one of the biggest problems in this country now is a misinterpretation of the 2010 Equalities Act. She's saying that there's all these groups that have been made protected groups because of protected characteristics and that the police and the courts and the government seem to think that because they're a protected group within the Act, it means that they're due special consideration in law. And of course, they're not. They have to behave themselves like everyone else. And that is part of the problem. And that is what's leading to the, the two-tier policing. Uh, it's OK when white people go and do something. Oh, yes, police can go in mob-handed, better them, take them away, arrest them. But if it's non-whites doing it, the police go, oh, wait, oh, they're a protected lot. We can't do anything or we're seen as racist or sexist, etc. And that's not how the law should work. We have cowardly two-tier policing from cowardly two-tier government. And that is leading to these problems. Now, the Equality Act 2010, like I say, protects certain characteristics, but only from discrimination. It should not protect them from law. It should not encompass them with any special uh, mystical ability to break laws. They should be held to the same standards as everyone else. Otherwise, there is no equality. And that also should be the act. Now, uh, during her tenure as the Minister for Housing and Women, strange mix, but that's how it was, um, she had to deal with the treatment of trans women in things like sport. And she... Uh, she railed against this. She said, no, this is one of those where the Equality Act has to be amended to make sure that where it says sex, it means biological sex, just so that men cannot go into a ring and batter women in boxing, for example, as we saw at the Olympics. And again, she's quite right. How can you protect women by letting men beat them? Mm, difficult question. Um, but of course, you then have all these protests, some of which turn into riots after the slaughter of three innocent girls, uh, then other stabbings in London and Manchester and Liverpool and so on. And people have had enough. And they've had enough with the fact that the police tend to treat white working class, predominantly males, far worse than just about any other group. And that leads to that tension where People think, well, why are we the ones subjected to this? Why not them? Why are they, the Muslims, being allowed to wander the streets with machetes and big pieces of wood and baseball bats and batter people and break things? And there's no police there even policing them, never mind arresting them. And that's the two-tier policing from a two-tier government. The police said, oh, well, you know, we were too scared to go and do that. They didn't say that. They made some bullshit excuse. But that's exactly what it was. I know it. You know it. Everyone knows it. Craven police running away, running away from a problem because they're too afraid to deal with it. They did not want to go in and arrest these Muslim lads carrying those weapons because they said, oh, no, white policemen arresting Muslim men. Oh, there'll be a riot. Yes. And now you've strengthened their arm because now they know that you are too scared to go in and do it. They now will do anything with impunity for them. There is no fear. There is no comeback. There is nothing to stop them because the police have effectively given up. And when you don't have police, you have anarchy. Anarchy in the UK. And tell you what, the Sex Pistols got it right. They were 40 years ago, 45 years ago, and they were damn right. Anarchy in the UK because we don't have anyone in charge. Keir Starmer's not in charge. He issues orders. He tells people to do this. He orders courts to impose two, three-year strong sentences. Hang on a minute. What about the separation of powers? Why is the executive telling the judiciary what to do? The judiciary should turn around to Keir Starmer and say, cough, mate. We're the judiciary. We shall dispense justice, not you. You're only the prime minister. You're not the head of the legal system. The whole thing has become monolithic. When the courts are controlled by the executive, you know that the country is now an absolute dictatorship where protest 
is illegal. We're saying hurty words on Facebook gets you longer in prison than if you actually went out and beat someone up or are a child even in some cases. And that's the problem. We have a weak, weak man with a massive, massive ego sitting in number 10 who's too afraid to confront the real issues so looks for false ones that he thinks he can win. But every time he pushes down, the resistance gets harder and harder and he is going to find out when people push back. And it won't be pretty. He needs to stand there and show that he's not too tier Kia. But alas, he probably doesn't have the balls to do that because he has no balls. He is that scared little boy in a big man's body. He's found himself in number 10 and now he doesn't know how to deal with it because he's never had to. His whole life he's never had power. Sure, he was the director of public prosecutions. And what did he do? Well, he let Jimmy Savile get away with it for years. Backed him up, his old mate, Jimmy. Now, I don't know if he was joining Jimmy. Can't say. Wouldn't surprise me, though. Um, but that's the only thing he did. He calls himself a lawyer. He's never fought a case. He's never spoke in front of a jury. He's never convinced anyone by logical thought. No, he's a technician. He's a spreadsheet king. But he's never been out in the real world. He doesn't know. And then when he does go to a pub and the landlord says no, he gets one of his bully boy protection officers to beat the landlord up and then walks in the pub anyway. And the landlord says, get out of my pub, get out of my pub. And he has to and he has to get the landlord yelling to stuff, don't serve him. And then he has to walk out and the whole lot's been filmed of uh, his goon beating up a pub landlord because he, he didn't like the idea of being told to FRO out this guy's pub because I'm Keir Starmer and I'm important. No Keir Starmer. You're not important. That's the whole thing. Only in your mind. You might be prime minister. That doesn't give you the right to walk into anyone's establishment. You're nothing. And in fact, you're less than nothing. You're a traitor to your own country now. And you're removing rights and freedoms from people. Left, right and centre. Because they dare to think the wrong way. Well, screw you. Kemi Badnock is right. The 2010 Equality Act has frightened you because you don't know what you're doing with it. And that's a sad day for this country. Well done, Kemi, for calling that out. You've got it bang on. Racist two-tier policing because they don't know how to deal. They're too cowardly to approach it. And they don't know that, oh, this, this protected group doesn't mean freedom from law group. Thanks a lot. Let me know what you think. We'll speak soon. Cheers. Bye.